a beautiful face. It's not every day you meet someone like Conchi Bretos, who has an idea this big. How are you? Conchi, who spent years in state government, is on a mission to rescue low-income senior citizens who might otherwise end up in nursing homes at state expense. <laughs> if not for Conchi, Rafaela Diaz would have been sent to a nursing home. Instead, Rafaela, at 102, still has her own apartment in this public housing complex for seniors in downtown Tampa. Now, this is my living room. So does 90-year-old Wilma High. Oh, dear. Who would want to go to a nursing home if you're as able as I am? They don't need a doctor. They don't need a nurse. They just need to be supervised. Conchi's big idea began with a question. How come so many senior citizens cared for at taxpayer expense were being put into nursing homes when they didn't need nursing home care? It turns out, under Medicaid, the only kind of state-funded care seniors are entitled to is in a nursing home, which costs Medicaid $47 billion a year, a cost Conchi calls wasteful. There is a place for nursing homes, but it has become the dump yard for every low-income senior and disabled adult in this country. So her idea, let low-income seniors who often live in public housing stay in their apartments. She gets exemptions from Medicaid to bring assisted living services to them. Three meals a day, housekeeping, transport to the doctor, help with medications. For Wilma High, service at home is perfect. There's a lot of seniors like you. Aren't there? That's right, that's right. You don't need a nursing home, but you need extra care. And taxpayers get extra savings. A nursing home in Florida costs $48,000 per person every year. Conchi's assisted living costs 18000 including housing, a yearly savings of $30,000 for every senior. Back in Washington, the former chief of Medicaid, Mark McClellan, says pioneers like Conchi are forcing change. It's a good example of how people working around the country at the grassroots level can change the way a whole big bureaucratic program works. How would you describe the overall need for this? It's a crisis. It's no longer a need. <laughs> That's why the federal government is paying attention to her big idea. It's becoming the model for long-term care. Don't move seniors to care they don't need. Figure out what they need and bring it to them. When we come back... Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Tampa.